All right, guys. So if you drop your render, we can start with making like the header. All right. So after, you know, like always after I drop the render, I start with like the text. So we are going to get Ninjutsu BB font. I will leave a link in the description if I will find like any any like web with this um, with this font. So we're going to go with the name Shade because on my recent tweets I said who wants to be in the tutorial and I have chosen Shade for this one because it's really nice, it's, it looks nice like the nick. Uh, we can make it kind of bigger because it's, it's kind of small now, alright, just like that. We can rotate it a bit this way, alright, it's cool, it's cool. like here I think we can make it even bigger because it's kind of small not gonna lie all right all right it's cool it's cool all right and next thing we are going to um, click on the text and of course like change colors and all the shit so we are going to go with 90 I always go with that and on the left color we are going to choose like orange and on the uh, right one, we're going to get white. And we gotta like make the best angle. All right, it's cool. We can also drop a shadow here like that. It's cool. You can just, you know, like copy the settings if you want to make the same header. Uh, all right, we can go with Satan also just a bit. Of course, overlay, so it won't be like too dark. Uh, now we can go with inner shadow, and uh, we can just like the white color and overlay as a blend mode. Mm, we can also get uh, inner shadow, like dark one, just like that, but with overlay because we we don't want to make the header too like and the text too dark if you know what I mean it all is like has to match the colors maybe bevel and boss a bit all right it's cool and maybe like like this stroke like orangey stroke but more with like dark colors like that all right it's nice all right after we have done like the main text we can uh, make like this subtitle or some shit with um, Chinese letters. Uh, I mean Japanese letters. My bad. Uh, so we go with Syntec Kana Aldier font. I will leave a link in the description also. And we can uh, make it say shade. Rotate it as, uh, as the main render is. Just like that, we can maybe extend it a bit. Yeah, 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 just like that. All right, it's in a nice position, I think. And what we need to do with this text, we can like just click on it. Sorry, but my like PC is kind of laggy because it's like all this. It has like five years, so yeah, I'm sorry for that. Uh, so we can go with bevel and boss. A bit of Satan, I think we can go. With overlay, alright. And of course, drop shadow. Just like that. Uh, maybe here, alright. I think it's nice. Alright, let's go. It's nice. Um, and of course, I forgot about the render part. So we have to make the render look better with like quality and shit. Uh, so yeah, we just get the render, we, cl we click Ctrl, Shift and A to open the camera row. Wait, let me see if it's recording. Alright, it is. Um, and we go to detail, noise reduction. We can do sharpening a bit. And do we go with clarity? Let's see. Oh, we can go a bit with clarity also and texture, alright. We, we won't be messing around with this or maybe just a bit 
to make contrast better. Just like that. Alright, it's cool, it's cool. Alright, and uh, to the render, we can also make some more effects. So we go with exposure and create a clipping mask and gamma correction a bit. I think we can make it like that. Alright, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. And we can make um, curves also and do it like that. Here, kind of like that and make the lights pop out more also. So just like that, I think it, oh, I think it's nice, yeah. And now we go to the, like the background stuff and here I got a brush from Reflex a pack, so make sure to check him out. Like there will pop out like his like a pic a picture of his Twitter. So yeah, go check him out. Uh, all right, and transform to fl transform and flip horizontal, and just put it in some places, just like that. Here, also we can put here and here. Alright, it's cool, it's cool. Now we group them by holding shift at the first and the last layer and cover the smart object. And we are going to make it like orange, so it will fit like the, the, the header. Uh, Alright, and now we are going to get a Zenitsu background, so because this render is Zenitsu by the way, I mean this, this character, and we extend it like that. We, con we create a clipping mask to the shapes. We convert to smart object. And uh, we can go with, with overlay. And we convert it to, it to the smart object, like that. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and we create a new layer. We create a clipping mask. And we are going to make some... some uh, like this brush, we are going to make it like more blue, so it will fit the lightings also. So just like that. Maybe we can make it make it this one. Maybe we can this make this one also. Here and maybe here. All right. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, maybe here or maybe here. Mm. All right. I think it's nice. Actually, we can delete this one because it looks like it looks kind of weird. Wait, this one, yeah. All right, and once we've done that, we are going to add some background. So we're going to get a next uh, Zenitsu wallpaper and background. You can say it how you want. Transform a flip, flip horizontal, and we are going to. Um, create a gradient map. We are going to create a clipping map. Create a clipping mask to the background, and just get a dark color on the, on the left and orange at the right. Just like that. Convert it to smart object, and we are going to just let it be like that. We are not going to less the opacity or something because I think it's it's, it's quite nice. Or maybe just a bit, 10%. Okay, okay, 90 is cool. Alright. And same thing on at the left. So we get another background. And we will create gradient map again. But this time we are going to make the right color more blue. Just like that. And actually now we can convert both backgrounds to the smart object. And uh, click Ctrl, Shift and A. So we are going to just mess around with the quality and the looking of the, of the backgrounds. So go to Detail, Noise Reduction, Sharpening, and of course Clarity 
and texture, it really helps, helps a lot. Alright. Mm. And after we've done that, we are going to copy the these layers. So we can cover this it, the smart object also. And we are going to make them white. Just so. Alright, and we can we can just make it like bigger like that. I think it's nice. Mm, convert to smart object. It's so laggy bro, it's so laggy, I'm sorry. And go with overlay. Just just like that. Actually we can make the background bigger a bit, just like that. Alright, it's cool. Uh, actually, we can add some, uh, some this, like these brushes to the text also. It will look nice, I think. Um, Alright, so let me let me get the text. Just like that, we can convert it to smart object, and we can get like the orange. Or maybe we're going to get the, the black color. We can put it like that. It's so laggy, I'm sorry, but my PC is so ass. Uh, and now uh, we're going to convert it to smart object again and make it like overlay, yes. All right, and I think we are done with the header. Now we, we are going to make uh, final effects to it, so we we hold shift at the first at the la and the last layer, or maybe wait wait wait. We are going to add like lights also, S some glows. I mean, just like that. Just match the color and make some lights. Just so, so it will give a nice effect to the main like the render, uh, the header. Here, 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 here. You just can mess around with them a bit. Just like that. Alright, uh, and now go with linear dutch and less it a bit. Alright, that's cool. And now we're going to group it as I said before. Ctrl Shift Alt and E to make a layer and click Ctrl Shift and I. Alright, and now we can mess around with, with the header. Uh, so we just get contrast, maybe less uh, exposure a bit. You just you just can kinda wanna play with it. Because it really depends how the header is looking so Camaro is actually different to like every header. There is no like the preset or the settings that are the best actually. You just mess around with the colors. We can make the sharpening also like 90 and noise reduction like 50. Alright. Alright, it's cool. There we can get like the blue one. Alright, I think it's cool. Now we go to effects and vignetting. Just a bit. And then calibration. You just have to mess with them. like that. Alright, I think it's cool. Alright, and after that we're going to uh, click Ctrl and J to like copy the layer. Blur and Gaussian Blur. 
and make it 50 and go with lighter color and make it 50% or maybe we can make it like less a bit so like 40 I think it's I think it's cool all right it's nice and now uh, we are going to group it and convert the smart object again so make it a new layer and we are going to add noise five noise is cool I think all right and I think that's it we are done with the header if you want to download the PSD for it I will leave a link in the description so uh, you just have to go with uh, go to the link and uh, like do all the steps that are required to get the PSD and yeah, I think that's it. Make sure to check my store, my all socials that you have in the description. And yeah, peace.